What's up guys, welcome back to the Scope Spirit channel. So today, I will share with you guys my opinion on Baki Season 4, also called Baki Son of Ogre, that came out last week on Netflix. Just for you to know, next week I will release the third episode of the Sports in Anime 5 episode series. If you're new to the channel, I put a link to the first episode right here. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more strength and anime content. Now that all has been said, let's see what is my opinion on Baki Season 4. Let's go! This video will contain spoilers from the fourth season of Baki, so if you haven't watched it yet and you don't want to be spoiled, I would recommend you to leave this video. So I divided this video into two main parts. The first big part will be for anime only watchers and then the second part, a little shorter, will be for those who read the manga. Don't worry, I will warn you again once we reach the second part of this video, so you can watch this video with tranquility and stop whenever you want. So let's start off with the first part for anime only watchers. In general, I would say that I really liked this fourth season of Baki. As you might have noticed, it's really fast and pleasant to watch with only 12 episodes. For the content, this season really focuses on the prison arc with the main characters being Gevaru and Oliver. Before this arc, we have additional content with Baki fighting against giant insects and Yujiro beating the elephant. In fact, this reminded me of the ending scene of the last season during which he was fighting with a lion in Africa. And after the prison arc, we have the scene with Stridum and Yujiro in the museum discussing what would be the animals that Baki could beat. With all these details, it gave the anime a very beastly vibe which is something I really like and that fits very well with the Scope Spirit channel. And since I've read the manga and I know what arc is next, I totally understand why they choose to put this beastly vibe on the anime. Now let's move on to the fight scenes. First off, we have Mac Tyson vs. Mouth. Being a big fan of boxing, I was really hyped when I saw the fight between Yujiro and Muhammad Ali in the last season. And for this fourth season, I was really pleased to see Mac Tyson making an appearance in the anime. We first see him with Baki's imagination and then in person in the prison. I was really sad when I saw him take a beating from Mouth, but hopefully Gevaru came to the rescue of his cellmate and crushed them easily. The second big fight was Gevaru against Oliver. For the fight between these two, I like the idea of freedom between the two men who could do whatever they want in the prison and I was really hyped to see the fight. Although the fight was great and well animated, there were two elements that I really disliked. The first one was the duel with the tissue, which I found boring for an anime like Baki, and it seems that Baki had the same opinion. And the second one is the fact that the fight was interrupted too many times, which has led to a bad pace in the fight. And the third big fight was Baki against Oliver. For those who wanted a Baki versus Oliver fight after their altercation during the last season, I think that you must not have been disappointed by their fight. The animation was incredible and the level of detail was unbelievable. Just like the fight with Gevaru and Oliver, I was a little bit annoyed by all the interruptions and the other character vision of the fight. I think it was done better, for example, during the fight between Spec and Anayama in season 3. For the other fight scenes, like Baki vs the Mantis, Gevaru vs the Sumo, I found them quite good and always in line with the Baki style. Regarding humor, I thought that the surprise with Maria was really well timed and even though I knew it was coming, it still made me laugh. Baki's gesture with the end when Oliver says that his muscle mass would be greater than the prison if he did not contain it was also very funny. There are a lot of funny details that I really liked but I won't have the time to go through all of them in this video. So to conclude this part, I really like the season in general and I'm very hyped for what's next. However, to be honest with you, I really preferred the last two seasons with the Death Rock Convict and the Right Eye Tournament. I thought the pace was better 
and there were much more incredible fight scenes. So the next part will contain spoilers from the manga. So if you're not up to date with the manga and you don't want to be spoiled, I would recommend you to leave this video right now. Okay, so now that everything's clear, let's move on to the final part, which will be shorter for those who read the manga. So regarding animation, I thought that this season was a great and faithful adaptation of the manga. As I said during the first part, the level of details during certain scenes was incredible. The ending scene with Pico fighting with the T-Rex was great and it seems that the future season will focus on the prehistoric men's adventures and fights with all the other protagonists. Now that I've watched the season 4 of Baki, I think it must be a little bit frustrating for anime only watchers that were hyped to see the battle between Yujiro and his son. I'm saying this because the end of the last season was kind of showing that the two were about to clash in the next season. Whereas in reality, as you already know, it will take a lot of time before we finally have the fight between the two. I would say that it will require around 4 to 5 seasons in order to reach this incredible fight. But I definitely stay hyped for the prehistory arc, which will really enhance the animal energy that we just started to feel during this season. So that's it for the video guys. I just wanted to remember you that it was just my opinion on the fourth season of Baki and it might not be the absolute truth. But if you liked the video and you want more content on the Baki franchise, do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.